And we're here at SEMA, finally made it. Some really cool stuff, can't wait to show you guys. SEMA 2019, what an amazing event. You know, no matter how much time you spend looking at all the vehicles and all the displays, there's no way you can cover everything. There's no way you can see it all. But man, I tell you, the one vehicle that definitely did get its fair share of representation was the Gladiator. There were a ton of Gladiators down here, and I'm looking forward to showing you some of them. What was neat about this year is there was actually a, a whole section dedicated to overlanding. And the interesting part about this is it wasn't just limited to that particular section. Everywhere you went, there were overland builds. So. SEMA typically, you know, always has a lot of hot rods, it's got a lot of rat rods, it's got a lot of big built trucks. This is the first year, really, truly, that you've seen overlanding make a big impact on it. And, uh, you know, it, there was a lot of really cool stuff. Check out this Mercedes, guys, totally amped up. Actually a correction right here. It was actually a Ford, not a Mercedes. However, there were a lot of Mercedes down here, so there's definitely more to see. What I really liked about this particular build was the tracks. Those are really cool. Up here in Canada, obviously from Alberta, Canada, something like that in the back country would probably get you a lot of places. got the good old earth roamer. Check it out guys. It's really cool to see how Las Vegas gets behind the SEMA event. Here's a marching band. And I think this is the only place in the world you're ever going to see someone carrying truck parts walking in front of the marching band. Here's an interesting gladiator. Instead of a rooftop tent, actually has one of the uh, truck bed tents. A little bit of a different take, but refreshing to see. Check it out everyone, it's one of the new Ford Rangers done up on a little bit of an overland build. The Ford Ranger was probably the next most accessorized truck down there. It was, uh, it was actually surprising to see how many were done up. There's a lot of really cool suspensions and a lot of really cool options coming out for this truck. It's awesome seeing some different builds out there. Okay, so now I've seen it all. Check this out. A fully done up UTV for overlanding. That is amazing. Check out this Gladiator from American Adventure Lab. It's kind of cool the way they actually have the rooftop tent hanging off the back and fully supported. Here's something called the Anti Shanty. And it looks like it's fully configurable. And it looks like you can move the beds around, do a couple of other things in there. Looks like a pretty sweet setup. Hey guys, here's a cool setup. Uh, nice little trailer and uh, fully set up Jeep. This Gladiator was set up really nice with this uh, particular uh, um, trailer. I love the 360 degree uh, awning on it. The fact that the trailer is all set up, uh, you can camp inside the trailer. The Gladiator also had its own awning and also a rooftop tent. You could definitely bring a lot of people with you on this and, and totally set up for, for quite a long time. 
Hey everybody, check this out. Really beautiful Mercedes. This is Rodney, it's a pleasure to meet you Rodney. Yeah, nice to meet you. Absolutely, and uh, he runs Cooper tires, I'm supposed to say that. <laughs> That's right, we run Coopers on this. Both their AT3 product were great on these vans and we're using the SST Maxes on this van as well. Good stuff. Absolutely, really nicely set up. Um, I kind of like how you've got the inside all done up in here. Yeah, the the the, chat, the rig is a Winnebago Rebel stock. Uh, the interior is almost all just like Rebel did it. We swapped out the seats. That's about the only thing, yeah. thing we did in there. These Schumann seats, super comfortable for long travel. Um, and then the outside, almost everything's been modified. The bumpers, the ride height, we did a lift on. It's got a different aftermarket rack on it. Nice. Uh, the outside, quite a bit of improvements for not only actually doing some four-wheel drive stuff, but getting down the road. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys use this primarily as a support route, right? We do. We support uh, Avon uh, Tire uh, Vintage Motorcycle Racing. Cooper owns Avon. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, we'll, we'll be at a lot of tracks all through the summertime uh, chasing the uh, motorcycle racing series, yeah. That's awesome. I look forward to seeing you. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Thank Tom. you. The display from Free Spirit Recreation really caught my eye. Um, their tents are really well designed, uh, really good quality construction. I really like the fact that they're tri-layer so that you can use them for cold weather camping. I'm definitely going to look at incorporating this into the F-150 and the Jeep build. This old Cherokee was really cool. Um, I'm a big fan of the old Cherokees and the, uh, the Wagoneers. Uh, the J-body trucks, really, really cool concept. This uh, very interesting vehicle was on display in the Chevy booth. Um, definitely something that's very unique. I think I'd have fun driving it. I'd be in. The things you only see at SEMA. the way they did the suspension on this. Gladiators do look really, really good in big tire combinations. Check this out. What'd you say, 38s? Uh, those are 42s on 20 by 10 B box. So, I mean, most people are doing 37 38. Definitely get to see it all at SEMA. All right, Expedition 90X has a really cool international here. Check this out, pretty cool. Uh, I love the uh, uh, the tracks. That's the type of rig we need up in Canada with all the snow. Here we go. Here's a nice Volkswagen all set up for overlanding. The guys from Ford Racing had a uh, awesome booth set up where you can actually ride in their Ford Raptor or take a ride in their GT500. I couldn't help myself. I had to go in the GT500. SEMA is truly an automotive enthusiast paradise. Whether you're into trucks, cars, you name it, they got it. Um, the best thing about this whole thing is the experience of actually seeing some stuff that you normally don't see on a daily basis. Seeing uh, rides and, and, and builds amped up to that next level, that's what SEMA's all about.
make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I have way more footage to upload. And you know what? I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has supported the channel. Anyways, I'm going to leave it with a few of the pics that I have taken. I literally took over 500 pics, but man, that would be hours and hours long. Here's a few of the vehicles anyways that I thought were pretty interesting.